Hello and welcome to my channel. I have gathered for you today 35 crochet sweater patterns, perfect for the cold days we are now experiencing. Most of them are free, and I would love for you to share in the comments your favorite one. Let's dive right in. Number one, an easy crochet sweater made with rectangles, a nice rib texture, and a unique shoulder accent. Number two, this is a slouch style jumper that features a cute little heart pocket. It's meant to fit a bit oversized. Number three, this is the first hoodie I found, and it's a huge chunky sweater with Sherpa yarn. If you want to feel warm and fuzzy, this is for you. Number four, a beautiful yoke sweater pattern with a mock turtleneck and a slightly different construction. The ribbing effect throughout is just awesome. Number five, this is a cozy crochet hoodie for a couple of reasons. First, the yarn that is made of, and second, the drape. This is something you'll want to wear every single day. Number six, this is a paid crochet pattern by Jessica Tsung on Ravelry. It's a unisex one with boxy fit and amazing texture. It seems so modern, and I love how it looks good both on men and women. Number seven, the gray sweater uses lightweight wool yarn and beautiful shell stitches. This could be a great option for layering too. Number eight, this one is a chunky oversized sweater with a turtleneck and you will feel just like wearing a blanket. Perfect for really cold climates. It's a paid crochet pattern from Two of Wands. Number nine, this is a video tutorial on how to make this gorgeous sweater with puff sleeves. Beautiful details. Number 10, a nice striped crochet sweater using Karen Cakes yarn. You could use the same to achieve stripes without buying multiple colors of yarn or choose your own. Number 11, a cropped version of a cozy bear-like sweater You'll love how it feels next to your skin. Number 12, this one is a more classic and basic crochet sweater with a big turtleneck that reminds me of the 90s. Once again, an amazing texture. Number 13, sweater weather probably means a lot of turtlenecks because I know I added a few. This one is going to need a little bit of patience to make as it uses a thinner yarn, but it results in a lighter fabric too, and it's totally worth the time and effort. Number 14, a boat neck sweater on the lighter side with amazing texture. Perfect for a casual outfit. Number 15, the Tolerain sweater calls for bulky weight yarn and it's perfect for beginners as it doesn't require any sewing. Number 16, a great example of a Nordic style crochet sweater. These designs were almost exclusive to knitting up until recently. This is a paid crochet pattern on Etsy. Number 17, this is the cutest sweater I have ever seen with all those little baubles floating around. Also, the choice of yarn makes it look so romantic. Number 18, this crochet jumper pattern has an interesting construction with nice vertical lines that run from neck to waist. A classic stitch pattern turned sideways. Number 19, not exactly a sweater nor a poncho, this crocheted garment has the best out of both worlds. Interesting construction for a stunning piece. Number 20, a vintage retro style sweater, very beginner friendly as the body is worked up in one piece with basic crochet stitches. Number 21, an easy and casual crochet sweater pattern that calls for worsted weight yarn and uses only basic crochet stitches. Number 22, this adorable crochet sweater comes with a matching hat and is also available in children's sizes. Number 23, the Claudia is a funky crochet multicolor pullover with open, airy stitches. It uses bulky weight yarn, which makes it a quick and easy project. Number 24, the plume sweater is made just out of two panels, which are then sewn together, and you have the choice to add sleeves or leave them at three quarters. Number 25, a super basic and classic crochet sweater pattern for a perfect casual look. It can be easily customized if you want it more or less cropped as well as the sleeve length. Number 26. The Bera is a raglan crochet sweater that you can easily customize the length as it's made top down, as all raglans, of course. Number 27. The granny square stitch on a sweater? Yes, and it looks fabulous. The ribbing on the hem, neckline, and sleeves make this design a statement piece. It can also be made with cotton yarn as a spring autumn garment. Number 28, 
This kind of ribbing reminds me so much of knitting, and it looks so good on a sweater. The Amalfi is a modern crochet sweater, slightly oversized and really cozy. Number 29. This modern color block pullover is worked in one seamless piece and can be modified in length. The colors were inspired by nature, but you can create in any color combination you like. Number 30. Another great example of what the right choice of yarn can do for your project. This is just another seamless raglan sweater with a lovely self-stripping yarn. Number 31. I can't say how obsessed I am with this sweater. It has the perfect relaxed oversized fit that is just perfect for everyday wear. Number 32. A classic crochet crew neck sweater with some fun little bobbles on the yoke. The construction is perfect for a beginner as it is seamless and you can try it on as you go. Number 33. This stylish raglan sweater uses simple stitches, a front loop twist for divine texture, and two sleeve options, bell or straight. It can be fully customizable for your best fit. Number 34. If we are talking about texture and coziness, then this sweater is a clear winner. And for number 35 is a project I initially thought it was a knitted one, but it's not. It's all crochet. How awesome does this look? And I love the color choices. That was our little list for today. Don't forget to share in the comments which one you plan to tackle first. See you on the next video. Bye.